it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I've got a book that was released a couple of years ago by Carolina Kupakowska. For some reason I didn't buy it at the time and I can't remember if it was budget or if it was out of stock. But anyway, you can see it up against the Joanna Bashford colouring book there so you can get an idea of how big it is. It's actually 122 pages, spiral bound with, as you can see, a lovely glossy cover on it that's reflecting in the light front and back and this was shipped to me by the first uh, link in the description box below which is always where I've purchased the book from the first link and they actually put a cardboard wrapper around the spiral binding so it wouldn't damage the other books that I'd purchased uh, and ordered so it arrived completely undamaged and protected all the other things in the parcel. So we start off with um, signed by Carolina, beautiful thick paper and it really takes a lot this paper. It's the same paper that Carolina uses in her other books and you can see my other videos where I've used watercolours and whatnot in it. So it does take, we've got these gorgeous images to start us off with, and then the actual artwork. Now it's all printed on just one side of the paper, making it super easy for you to use your alcohol markers, your watercolors, and because it's spiral bound, you can just tear it out if you can bear to do that and you know color it or frame it or you could even give it to somebody there's no way that i would but <laughs> you might be more generous than me and we have got so many gorgeous range of images in this book we've got the beautiful soulless girls and the animals carolina's very distinctive dark artwork that's all in a, like a dull black with lots of cross hatching and stippling as effects we've also got her text that accompanies some of the images beautiful owls and look at that wispy dress and this amazing clouds i always wanted this book so when I uh, obtained some books from the publisher who publishes this book and also has a retail store, the link is the first one in the description box below, I made sure I bought this book because it was on my list and I have all of Carolina's artwork and uh, even some digital artwork as well. So I wanted to make sure that my collection was complete of Carolina. So look at these lovely words. Every stroke, choice, colour and composition you imagine is something of a magician's doing. Isn't that beautiful? So we've got lots of bunnies and bears and she does all the hard work by putting in all of these outlines and shadows. Look at this gorgeous image here. Isn't it beautiful? She's got leaves all across her eyes and tentacles. The artwork is just always just so mysterious and yeah, it's, there's something about it that really gets to me. Oh, she's doing a bit of baking. I don't think she's baking. I think she's probably mixing up some potions, seeing it is called Magic Hour. And there's her bunnies. Oh, she's gorgeous. And that image actually had eyes on it. Often they don't. They're just blanked out absolutely beautiful so much black in it and so easy just to follow her hatching to work out where the light source is so the darker the hatching or the more strokes the darker you color like grayscale but this is more pen and ink and i always have difficulty describing carolina's artwork because it's not really grayscale it's heavily shadowed and black and the only thing i can think to describe it as is pen and ink artwork but if there is a word for it and you know it please let me know i would love to describe it correctly we've got all of this gorgeous beautiful textured bunnies having a nap and she's got her little crown on. Isn't she gorgeous? 
And look at all these cats. Millie wouldn't like that if I had all of these cats. She likes to be number one. Oh, he's creepy, isn't he? Look at those dead eyes. Ooh. So if you get the creeps from artwork, it's meant to be good because, you know, it makes you feel. Oh, and look at her. She's semi-nude. We've got our gorgeous little creature here. And look at him. He's got a little crown on and a UFO in the background. So it's all happening. So many animals and mushrooms and night skies and some images you can actually you know do your own artwork on there the paper is really good it's a medium to heavy and you're not going to have troubles there but if you do use markers make sure you pop something in between because depending on how much ink you you're saturating the page with you might actually go through the paper but make sure you put some paper in between if you're not tearing it out look at how gorgeous this is I don't know if I've got a favourite picture yet. They're all so beautiful. Really, really gorgeous. And he's got a little crown on. She's got clouds in front of her eyes. <laughs> I don't know how she thinks up some of these scenarios. Oh, look, she's got a bunny mask. Oh, so gorgeous. I'm glad I purchased this. I'd hate not to have one of her books in my collection and so there we've got a gorgeous little owl on the planets this beautiful face with the dead eyes look at these birds they look like they've been uh, pecking at her and that there's blood coming out <laughs> might save that one for halloween hey even the cat looks creepy on this one So much black already done for you and that beautiful bunny. <laughs> Look at this, this bear's having a cup of tea, as you do when you're stuck in the forest. So many different variety of animals in this book. And 122 pages all up. Look at Mr. Bunny. Isn't he adorable? Yeah, so it certainly would keep you going for a while. But her pictures are quite easy to finish I mean depending on what you do because she's already done so much of the black and the outline and the shading especially if you're using something like watercolors and if you want to have a look she's also got a YouTube channel where she often has videos of her using watercolors oh my god paper dolls oh my god i didn't realize this look at her she's we've got her and then we've got the bunnies we've got some accessories we've got some clothes and books how cool is that i think i'd have to copy that uh, i don't think i'd bear to uh, take it out and use it oh look at this gorgeous witch and that looks like it should have someone's name on it so absolutely stunning and then at the back we've got this glossy protective backing on it and it is so super thick it is such a big book and beautifully presented so that's it for magic hour until next time stay safe and happy coloring